What's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be using Sikuli with Java to automate uh, one simple process that will open Internet Explorer, create a new folder, give that folder a name, and we'll stop there. The script is going to be very quick and very easy. The purpose of this video is just to demonstrate how to add Sikuli library to your project and how to create a screen object to utilize to do things on your screen. So we're gonna get started. Well, first thing you gotta have is you're gonna have Sikuli installed. And if you don't have it installed, uh, see the video that's on the screen right now. You know, click the link and go to the video that will show you how to install Sikuli. And then once you have it installed, you'll have all these files. And there's one particular jar that we'll need and that jar is Sikuli X API. So this is what we, we want to have. So make sure you have that before you proceed to the next steps. If you already have it installed, then just keep watching. So the next thing I'm gonna do is gonna create a new project with IntelliJ. And I'm gonna go ahead creating a Gradle project, even though we're not gonna be using Gradle, but just so we have a Gradle support if we need it in the future will have it so pretty much I'm not gonna check anything else here I'm gonna click next give the group ID which we're gonna call this Sikuli demo call this Sikuli demo version 1 next uh, make sure you have the use auto imports and create directories automatically checked and use Gradle wrapper uh, by default make sure you have this checked Click next and you know choose where you want to save your project. I'm not gonna change anything here. So we're gonna wait for Gradle to build our project real quick here. And then the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add that Sikuli X API jar to our project. And this is kind of like old school of going about it. So we're gonna um, what we're going to do, we're going to right click on Sikuli demo, we're going to choose new, and we're going to create directory. And we're going to name this directory libs. And then we're going to go to our Sikuli X, um, the directory where we saved our Sikuli 2. And we're going to copy this jar, and then I'm going to just paste that jar right in to the libs folder. Now, one thing I'm going to do is add the library, uh, right click. So we're going to go to libs, we're going to right click on it, and I'm going to choose add as a library and just leave everything as default here. Click yes. And then one more thing we'll do, we'll go to a project settings. Oh, I think that's the project settings, is it? Yeah, uh, project structure. And we're gonna go to libraries in here. No, actually, uh, I think it's not libraries. I think it's uh, two modules. We're gonna choose our Sikuli demo main. And then we're gonna go down to dependencies over here and we're gonna press this plus button and we're gonna go choose library. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add libs to the dependencies. So we're gonna add, you know, click this checkbox and click OK. So now we're ready to use uh, to use Sikuli in a project. So let's go into our source main Java and let's create a class here. I'll just call this class main and inside my main class we're gonna create our public static void main string herbs. So this is just our main method that's going to run and everything we'll do here is going to be inside our main method. <clears throat> so first thing we need to do is kind of figure out what we're doing to begin with, right? So, and what we're doing is we're gonna press Windows key plus E to open Internet Explorer. And then we're gonna go to music folder, 
we're going to press new and what we're going to type is automation for the win and press enter that's what our script is going to do so let me delete the folder so now that we know what we want to do we need to make sure we take the screenshots okay and let's go ahead and do that together right now actually i do have some screenshots here i'm just going to remove uh, if i can let me see do, 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 do. remove those so I'm gonna use on Windows there is a snipping tool that's what I'm gonna use to take my screenshots with and so the first thing we're gonna click is this music tab over here so I'm just gonna take the screenshot of that music thing and I'm gonna save that to my Sikuli demo source main resources so we want to make sure that the screenshot ends up in the resources and I'm gonna call this music dot PNG save it and then another screenshot is going to be when we go into the music we need to create a new folder so we'll take a screenshot of this new folder like so and we'll also save it to the same directory here and we're gonna call it new folder.png. Save it, we don't need the snipping tool anymore so we can close that and we can close the Explorer as well. Now let's just make sure we have the screenshots that we took and there's one and there's the other. So all good. Now we're gonna create We're gonna create the objects that will represent those images. So what we're gonna do is a private static final, and this is going to be a pattern. And this is the pattern that we want, org.sekuli.script. Now this is going to be our music object. So we're gonna say main class get so you can get resources or get resource and the resource name for that is music.png and actually before we do that we need to make sure we declare the pattern otherwise it's not going to work so that's what we want now we're going to do the same thing for new folder change the name of the resource to new folder and change the variable name to new folder as well. Now we can go ahead and create object of the screen. So we're going to say screen and again we need the one under org.sekuli.script and we'll name that uh, that object screen new screen now, if you have multiple screens connected, you may need to index which screen you want, and it's pretty simple to do. You can put 0, 1, 2 in here, depending on which screen you want to uh, create the, uh, the object for. <clears throat> for me, this like if you don't put any number there, it's going to use your main screen. So now that we have the screen, um, next thing we need to do is perform the keyboard presses to open up the Internet Explorer or Windows Explorer, whatever, whatever this window is, uh, file, explore, uh, file Explorer. So we'll need to press Windows and E at the same time. So the way we're going to do this, we're going to say screen key down and we're going to use key event class to reference the Windows key here. And then we're going to do the same thing for the E key. And then once we have this pressed, it's going to open the file explorer, but we need to make sure we unpress those keys or they will be still pressed. So we're going to make sure to say key up. And now that we have that, so that will open this window. 
now from this window we need to click music and then click new folder so let's use a screen object to perform the clicks the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wait for our music and we'll wait for about two seconds for that to pop up and then we'll click that so now this shows that there is some error that we did not handle and basically if this if this object is not found on the screen, we'll, we'll get an exception. So we'll need to make sure we add that exception to method signature or we can do try catch. Uh, it's up to you. I'm going to add it to method signature. So all it does is just adds this throws find failed. So just make sure you know that this method will throw find failed if something goes wrong with this call. Now we're going to do the same thing for new folder and also I'm gonna do one more thing and I'm gonna set similar uh, let me see similar so basically what this does is make sure like if you don't put similar in here it will look for a hundred percent match uh, for the music picture with what's shown on the screen and sometimes that's not good. I found from my personal experience that you want to you don't want to look for 100% match because it does not work all the time. So you want to drop the match down a little bit. And the way I do it is I just set it to maybe like 0 0.90. So this will look for an image that's 90% similar uh, for an image on the screen that's 90% similar to my music image. So we're going to do the same thing for the new folder. And then we need to use our screen object to type the name of the folder at this point. So we're going to say screen type and we wanted to do automation for the win. And once we type that, we also want to press enter key. So we're going to change that to enter. And we're going to change that key up to enter as well. Oh, we got to change. Make sure you have key, key down and key up for the same key. All right, so now if you run our script, which we can do by right clicking main, and selecting run main dot main, it should perform everything we told it to. Let's see. There we go. That's the script. So that's how you use SQLite with Java. There is a lot of methods that screen object has. You guys feel free to play around with it. There's plenty of stuff that you can do with it. You can capture screenshots. You can compare different screenshots. You can get the locations of different uh, objects on the screen you can drag and drop you can do a lot of things just you know play uh, play around with it and i'll probably come out with some more videos on sequely uh, later on so make sure to check back make sure to like the video subscribe and share take care guys